I Love B is a mechanical keyboard brand that gets swept under the radar but has a lot of great budget options like two years ago when I reviewed their i61. Today they are back with the I Love B B87 which has a lot going for it and a very affordable price point as well. Just wanted to quickly say if you are new to my channel and like keyboard content like this, feel free to subscribe as it helps out the channel a lot and thank you very much to I Love B for sending this over for my review. This keyboard starts off at a price of $59.99 and comes in 3 different colorways with a linear switch. I would have liked to have seen a tactile option as well, but inside the box you get the keyboard itself, a wire, a manual, and a keycap and switch puller. Pretty standard stuff in here. Like most keyboards these days, it is tri-mode connectivity, so you got Bluetooth 2.4Hz and USB-C, and it does feature a volume knob. Now when it comes to the volume knob, I do wish it was a little bit taller than the keycap it's next to, just for easier access, but it still works as intended. And this is a fully plastic keyboard, but because of that battery, and I do believe it has a small weight on the bottom. It does have a little bit of heft to it, which is nice to see compared to other plastic keyboards around this price point. The keycap quality is double shot PBT and they are cherry profile, but there are some noticeable inconsistencies with the legend sizing, as you can tell versus the letter keys, which I think in general are a much bigger than most cherry profile keycap sets are. And when it comes to your question mark keys and everything else, the thickness is very different, which in my opinion does not look the greatest. Plate included is polycarbonate, it has a lot of foam in it, and it is gasket mounted of course. I do wish they removed the PE foam, I don't think it's necessary. The stabilizers are factory lubed, and I really didn't have to do anything to this keyboard right out of the box. While it is a budget keyboard, I do think the design has a lot going for it with the different side profile in the back. I don't like what it says on the back though. I feel like it's very tacky, but you know, it's on the back at least. The I Love B logo being at the top left hand corner is kind of a miss in my opinion, but if you get it in the retro colorway, it kind of fits the theme a little bit, but I feel like for the other colorways, kind of just stands out or doesn't look like it fits in any way, shape or form. But again, the front lip, how it kind of folds to the front with a second tone of color on all three colorways and the side profile having this sort of futuristic look to it has a lot of charm in it and I really just like the overall design and look of the keyboard. In terms of sound and feel, I do think it kind of sounds very generic. That is because they're using a bunch of foam and a P foam as well and that drastically changes the sound signature, removing any uniqueness that this keyboard could have had if it did not have that PE foam. You know, there's already enough foam in this keyboard towards where the gasket performance isn't even the greatest either, so it is a little on the stiffer side, and that is because it's just so crammed in there. So if you just remove some of it, you would be perfectly fine. The switches though are actually very nicely lubed right out of the box and I did notice that if you're going to be using a taller keycap profile in the future like SA keycaps, these do have a lot of stem wobble so I probably wouldn't recommend doing that unless you're going to film these switches as well. But if you're just using the keycaps that it comes with then I think you will have a great experience as they're smooth, nice to type on, have a good weight and have no ping or scratchiness to them at all. Here's a quick sound test you guys can hear how it sounds.
Like I said before, the sound profile isn't anything new or different that we've heard from. For those who want something extra, it is very easy to remove this foam as there are screws on the back of the keyboard. So all you have to do is unscrew the back, remove the case foam. If you did want to remove the P foam, unfortunately you have to take off all the switches. I still think this keyboard has a lot going for it. I think the best feature, which is what I left for last, is the fact that this is QMK and VIA compatible for only $60 is crazy. Crazy. You can customize each key binding on this keyboard, set macros, and this is kind of something we only really see on more premium keyboards. So the fact that it's here at this price point is amazing and I really like that I Love B included that. If you guys are interested in this keyboard, I'll be leaving it in the description below. But let me know what you guys thought about the I Love B B87 mechanical keyboard in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.